The first time I took part in a raid, I was so full of adrenaline and so full of energy that it was more exciting than scary because I believe I was doing something important. My work and mission is to combat wildlife trafficking. Here in Brazil, we have different kinds of wildlife trafficking. All kinds could be withdrawing from nature over 38 million animals. We can tell that he was just captured because the ones that were not are tame. He's very, very stressed right now. Marcelo. 99% of the times, the conditions of the birds that we find in seizures are very far from what we would consider the minimum uh, acceptable. And he has all the evidences of violations of animal welfare, as well as collecting uh, animals uh, with the cage over there. The only way we can do an effective work is if we collaborate. The people who are in the front lines of this combat are law enforcement agents. They know who is working, they are the ones acting, they are the ones with their hands on. There is also the scientific work that began with my PhD, with my advisor, in which I analyzed population genetic issues for wild bird species that are severely exploited by the illegal trade. If I have a shipment of birds, that was seized in Sao Paulo. Depending on the database that I have for comparison, we can use genetics to infer the most likely population of origin of this shipment or of uh, individuals, not only to find exploitation hotspots, but to send them back to the correct place as well. Losing populations or species could bring unbalance into entire ecosystems. We have to be doing this work and we have to change the situation before it's too late. We're missing is this connection with the wild, which is remembering that we're part of nature and the ecosystem, not something separate. Only by bringing together people from multiple disciplines and multiple backgrounds and building true collaborative efforts, we can end wildlife trafficking. And I think we can do it. I think we are doing it. <laughs>